But I wanted to touch right. on George Kittle. I, I love the fact that you asked him in the presser about his touches. And he said, fair question, right? In his own words, he was like, okay, well, I haven't went into to Kyle Shanahan's office. To me, an oppressor, you were better off going into the office if you're going to let people like me talk about it on the internet. Right. To me, he was better off just saying it to, to Kyle un, behind closed doors because to me, Jimmy is not the quarterback that's going to get it done for him. No. For him to get the ball. No. Jimmy. You, you know, you know Debo goes ball. into Kyle's office every day. Remember that story? Debo goes into Kyle's office every day just to talk. You think that's because he really likes Kyle, or you think it's because he's smart? I think it's because he's a little intelligent. I think it's because he's really smart. And so, Kittle, man, I, I think you're smart, too. Jimmy's not the guy to talk to. You, you got to go above Jimmy in this yeah. hierarchy. Yes, yes. And, um, yeah. I love the fact yeah. that Jimmy's hanging out with Kittle and all those things. But, I mean, he's definitely not hanging out with him in the offseason. We know that. Doesn't return his text. So how good of a friend is he really, how George? How possibly could he be? But that's all right. Trey Lance is walking yeah. now. I love the fact that you give him this. I'm a huge Trey Lance fan, by the way. I was at the game when he got injured. It was terrible. I was yelling at fans because I knew they would cheer. I knew they would cheer for Jimmy. So I was yelling at all the fans, just pissed off because that's a teammate at the end of the day. And he's, he's a lot like him. the second coming of Alex Smith. It just not physically, just in terms of how quickly the fan base turned on him. We don't want you. Like, Instinct. dude. Dude, you haven't given me – I've started four games, yo. Like, can you chill? But it's like, oh, Aaron Rodgers or, or, or Justin Fields or Jimmy. It's like, you guys are ridiculous, man. Give him a chance. Ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But that was all I wanted to Bears, say, Bears fans were, Bears fans were uh, patient with Justin Fields. Their patience has been rewarded. It has been. It has. Now, Funny how that goes. Nightmare. Yeah, and same thing with the Eagles and Hurts and the Bills. You got to be – if you want a great quarterback, you got to commit – trust the process. And the Niners haven't. And they got to commit. They have to they commit, commit to him 100% on all yes. levels and just... And you know what that means? Ask getting getting Jimmy on. out of... It means getting Jimmy out of the freaking building when it's time to start, Trey. Next year have to. Come fast enough because I know yeah. when, that, when that moment comes and we're in that playoff situation and I got to rely on Jimmy because Kyle only had a first, only had a first half of plays scheduled out, then I'm going to be like, okay, it's time to... Show up, which he never does, or he's going to give it to CMC or Elijah Mitchell. But do you think Elijah Mitchell is a better running back at the end of the game when it comes to getting those tough yardage, that tough yardage? That's what I really want to ask. I think he's a powerful running back for a littler guy with speed. I don't think McCaffrey's particularly powerful. He's really good, though. And I think if this were if Bill Walsh were the, team, were the coach, they'd be throwing to McCaffrey left and right, and he'd be a really, really dangerous weapon as a receiver. But as a running back, I think – He's good, but there's like some runs he's better at than others. You want him getting outside, I think. Like his whole running game in Carolina was the zone read with Cam Newton. Now you're like, okay, so the quarterback is not a factor. Right. It's just get under center and pitch the ball left and right to McCaffrey. Uh, I don't like using him that way. Like he's, I'd rather use Mitchell in that in that role. Yeah. To me, now next year with Trey Lance, the the, the two of them might be real deadly on that. Zone. Zone that's what I'm hoping for. That that's they might what I'm be hoping for. Yes, McCaffrey to me, he's smaller, so he can get out to those outsides a little bit better. He's a great playmaker, and to to me, yeah. when he first got to the team, I said he was the second best playmaker on the playmaker on the team. But I don't now, know the way Debo season been going. He might be the number one, but my favorite receiver. Peter I was gonna say Ayuk, but then he fumbled and dropped, so Ayuk needs to get back. I've been together. on I use high horse for like the last two years, trying to let people know that this is the best wide wide receiver on the team. Because he's a the Niners are going to mess around you know? and not extend his contract, and he's going to go somewhere else. Man, that's going to hurt my heart. It's gonna hurt he's my going heart. to be the next to four. But I'm afraid he's going to be the next to force Buckner, and they're going to talk themselves out of him, and he's yeah, going to go somewhere I, I with the top like five quarterback. Or something killing.